uh, it leaves the Prime Minister asking for an extension and we assume he's going to do that because number 10 have told the Scottish courts they would comply with the law so he needs to do that and then what the government seems to be trying to do is to try to stick to its timetable by on Monday they want to schedule another meaningful vote so another go at getting MPs to approve that deal and then assuming that's positive on Tuesday we finally see the withdrawal agreement bill that's the piece of legislation they need to put through to put the agreement Boris Johnson reached in Brussels uh, earlier this week into UK law and allow us to ratify the withdrawal treaty. It's really interesting because although the Letwin Amendment, the thing they were voting on today, passed against the government's wishes, quite a lot of people who are doing the numbers say that some of the people who just wanted to make sure we couldn't leave with no deal on the 31st of October actually would support Boris Johnson's deal. And if that happens, then he could just squeak over the line with his deal, maybe by a margin of three or four votes. Well, his biggest hurdle is to actually get those numbers through. So it looks there, but it's pretty much on the knife edge, very, very finely balanced. Then his next big hurdle is, you know, you can win the meaningful vote, that's the vote in principle on the deal, but he then needs to get the withdrawal agreement bill through. And he is likely to face a battery of amendments, particularly if MPs think they've got more time because the EU has granted an extension.